There's basically a grand theoretical model. It's called the two-factor model of sleep and wake regulation. It basically says if you want to predict someone's state of wakefulness at any time during the day, there are two factors. One is sleep debt. In our work, we've seen that the last 14 nights of sleep will actually affect how you feel today. And then you've got the second factor, which is we've talked about the circadian rhythm, and that changes in response to lighting mostly. And so if you want to understand how someone is going to be feeling, those are the two factors to understand. If anyone's listening to this and they're probably using a sleep app or have a Fitbit or an Apple Watch. What the research doesn't say is that sleep staging matters for wakefulness. In fact, it shows the opposite that sleep staging doesn't predict people's subjective state of, of alertness. If you go listen to like 50 other sleep podcasts, they're going to be like, sleep quality is everything and REM sleep and we need deep sleep. And the research seems pretty clear. All stages are important. 